here at the um, Missisquoi Abenaki Tribal uh, Headquarters, and I'm going to make the Indian drums. We're just starting on this. I use a hole punch, punch a hole like that. I'm working on the drums and it's a learning experience and it's fun to do. It's, it's confusing at first, but we have to hang with it. Just a try before you try that. One more time and it won't loosen up on you. Well, what we do is after we tie them, we put the post pins around to hold it over so when it dries, kind of looks like this and kind of folds over, see? And this is the inside. And we got to cut this off yet, and we've got to put a, a leather band around here to make it so when a person holds it with their hands like this, it, um, it's more comfortable for them. So we still got to finish them off in the back like, like this. Like. And they all sound different. Big difference. Just because the skin or the hides are different, various things. So like, you know, like this one here is rather thin. This is kind of heavy. So when it dries, it gives a completely different sound. It is an interesting one here. When we got the hide, I still had some fur on it. <laughs> they all make a little different sound. We sell the drugs to try to raise money for things like the food shelf and things for the tribe. You know, because we have, we give away the food. Like I say, they have to go get it to store, but the other thing, you know, is we have lights, we have heat, uh, and we have run multiple freezers and refrigerators, so that's all costly, so we have to try to raise the money to, to cover our expenses so that we can give the food away to the people. And this is one of the ways that we do it. When we get done, we're gonna put a label on this. They're made by uh, tribal members, Tyler Bacchus, inside of it, so when a person purchases it, they'll know who it's made by.